Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford we are going to do a Japanese koi fish drawing. You will need a sheet of A4 paper, a pencil, a black sharpie and then sharpies also in these colours so a selection of oranges and yellows, greens and blues. To start with, with your pencil you're going to draw tadpole shapes on your piece of paper. You can do larger ones, smaller ones, then face in different directions. But think about your composition as these are going to be your fish. So the shape is a large oval shape and then it gets narrower to create a tail shape. Then add some fins at the side. So two larger fins on the larger oval part of the fish. So they are oval shapes which point towards the tail part of the fish, if that makes sense. Have a little look at my drawing. I know it's very faint. I do manage to bump up the contrast on one of the other videos a little bit later on. And two smaller fins on the thinner part of the body face in the same direction as the larger two, again in an oval kind of shape. Repeat this for every fish that you do. I've done three in different directions. And then start on your lily pads, again placing them where you think is best. So these are a V shape uh, within a circle. Hopefully you can see my drawing a bit better here with darker lines. I then just go over everything with wavy lines and circular shapes. This creates smaller sections within the water, lily pads and the fish. Now we can move on to colouring in. So we're going to start with the fish and I've got four colours here that I can use for the fish. Ideally you need at least three different colours that you can use for each thing. So at least three colours for the lily pad, three for the water and three for the fish but four is better. You're going to fill in the fish with the yellow and orange shades. The idea is that you don't have two of the same colour next to each other. They can touch at a point, but they can't be directly next to each other because otherwise it doesn't work. So I find it best to go around with the one shade of orange first in each fish shape and then go around with the next shade and so on and so forth. Rather than colouring one fish in the different shades and then moving on to the next fish. Hopefully that makes sense. Boy fish are traditionally orange, uh, like a ready colour and white, but we're going to just stick to orange, ready kind of orange and yellow for this. Apparently the meaning of koi fish in Japanese is a symbol of good fortune or luck as well as love and affection. So again, using the same idea as before, colouring the lily pads using the different shades of green no sections of the same colour touching but they can touch at a point. Repeat the idea again with water but using shades of blue and fill in any other white space, obviously keep into your sections. So this art activity can be used for a number of different projects. You could do it if you're looking at symbols from around the world, so this could be to do with the luck and the fortune thing like I mentioned, or if you're looking at Japanese culture you could also include this. I would also say that you could include this alongside a mono project. You could change your techniques and it could go along with looking at the lily pad pictures, allowing you to look at what's below the surface of the ponds. To finish off this picture and give it that finishing touch, go around all of your outlines of every single section with a black sharpie. A simple but fun project to do for anyone who's limited on art supplies. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every Monday for children's art lessons and videos every other Thursday for other art related things. See you next week for more Art with Miss Burford!